I'm Mark Sponsor from StormSurf.com, and here's the surf forecast for the Hawaiian Islands for the week starting Friday, May 6th. Brought to you by your surf authority, expert advice, and friendly staff, Hawaiian South Shore. A good run of late season swell has been hitting the North Shore for the past several days, but is really winding down as of Friday. By Saturday, that swell is supposed to be completely gone. Let's take a look at the wave model for the North Pacific, see if there's anything forecast for the next week. We're looking for any sort of a gale. The Hawaiian Islands are right there. We're looking for something up in this region, uh, preferably with at least 18-foot seas. Here's a gale, well, really a low-pressure system forecast over the dateline on Monday with maybe 16-foot seas, but even that, maybe at best the smallest of windswell, but we don't even think that would be rideable. And we're looking at, we're already on Thursday, Friday, and almost into Saturday. No gales are forecast. Not surprising. It's May. The season's pretty much over. The focus now turns to the Southern Hemi. And also on the South Shore, significant swell has been hitting for the past several days, pretty good size, but that too is winding down. And by tomorrow, that be Saturday, the last little bits of the swell is supposed to be hitting 1.7 feet at 13 to 14 seconds. That's pure swell. That would be about 2.2 foot Hawaiian or let's say chest to shoulder high. And then after that, winding down with waves basically waist high or so or less on Sunday and Monday. And then after that, literally nothing is forecast, at least for a bit. Looking back just over the past week, we can see why. This is a wave model for the South Pacific, uh, New Zealand there, Australia there, the Ross Ice Shelf, Antarctica. Um, you get it. We're looking for something. Now, you need a little bit bigger seas, preferably at least 26 foot seas, uh, to be able for that uh, swell to be able to make it up into the Hawaiian Islands. It's a good long venture. Yeah, there was a little gale. That is today down in the deep, more central Pacific, but all aimed off to the east. No meaningful swell. And then we start looking forward from Friday, May 6th. We're looking at wind, surface level pressure, surface level winds. Here's that first little gale. Really, Hawaii is, what, about 155, 158. So that gale is even east of the Hawaiian Islands with no fetch aimed up at it. Another little system under New Zealand on uh, Friday. Really not forecast to do a whole lot. Maybe 30 to 35 knot winds, but again, all aimed off pretty much to the east. And then finally, on about Monday night, Tuesday, a gale starts developing southeast New Zealand with uh, 50 to almost 50 knot winds aimed briefly north for a little bit, offering some hope, and then pushing east of the Hawaiian swell window. Another system on Wednesday starts pushing under New Zealand, generating 45 knot winds. Again, aimed mainly off to the east, but maybe some sideband swell to radiate north. And then another system forecast southeast of New Zealand uh, almost a week out. Let's go take a look at the effect of those winds on the ocean surface. So here we are today on Friday, that little system outside or east of the Hawaiian swell window. Another system off the Ross Ice Shelf, mainly with all energy aimed off to the east, not doing anything, and then moving out of the Hawaiian swell window. Then finally, on like uh, uh, Monday night into Tuesday, gale starts developing, lifting north with, oh, you know, 34, 35 foot seas, Lift, lifting really more northeast, but sideband swell to result from that. And then Wednesday, another system with multiple, you call this a complex gale when you have multiple fetch areas, multiple areas of seas anywhere from 26 to 30 feet. That should be good for swell production. And then finally, the new system a week out. You don't really want to believe the models this far out in the future, but seas trying to develop along New Zealand aim well to the north. So really the next shot at swell we think is going to be on Wednesday, May 18th, that southern hemi swell, and not even that big, but at least rideable swell coming from the south. And that is just a forecast. The models uh, more than a couple of days out, not so stable. So don't take it to the bank yet, but something to look forward to. And then, of course, long term, we've been looking at, we're in La Nina right now. The rumor has been that maybe a third year of La Nina is coming. This would affect the swell pattern uh, all through the summer into the fall and next winter. 
But the good news is the most conservative of the models, the CFS version 2 model, which initially had water temperatures, so here we are April into May, had water temperatures dipping down to 1.5 degrees below normal, all of a sudden about two days ago, decided, no, that's not the case. They're as cold as they're going to get. They're going to start warming. And these are water temperatures on the equator from the area south of California out to the dateline, the official El Nino monitoring region called Nino 3.4. Anyway, temperatures are supposed to move up to just about a half degree below normal, which is no longer La Nina conditions, maybe dipping as we get into the fall to maybe, oh, minus 0.65 or minus 0.7 degrees, and then bouncing up and being back into the normal range by January. So this sort of hints at least that maybe La Nina will not go for a third year. Maybe we'll be biased cold, but that's better than being deep in La Nina. So something to look forward to and a bit of good news. We'll have to keep monitoring. So for right now, nothing on the North Shore. It's over for the season. Southern Hemiswell, South Shore, little one more day on Saturday, pretty small, maybe dribbles on Sunday into maybe Monday, and then that's it for a while. And then we have till uh, Wednesday, February 18th, that's our next shot at maybe some Southern Hemi Swell. So maybe a good time to go take care of some business, do some shopping, buy gifts for your friends at Hawaiian South Shore. And that's kind of it for this week. Have a good time, stay safe, and we'll do it again next week. Thanks for watching.